Hello, I'm Dai Xunhua. Uh, I'm going to talk some of my experience in programming and why I think open source software matters. Um, so first, what is open source? Well, open source software is a type of software um, in which uh, the source code is released on during license so that people can learn about it and use it. Um, before I dive into the further discussion of open source, I like to tell some story about myself. Um, I started programming in 2013 uh, using C and C++, mainly for doing coding competitions. But then I started doing something else and learned Java and C Sharp on the internet. In the following years, uh, I made games and kept learning new stuff. And I start, actually started a game studio uh, with friends in 2015. Yeah, so I, I think it's fair for me to say that I do have a bit of experience in programming. Well, but um, I didn't really care about open source before 2018. Um, in the previous years, I was learning a lot of algorithms. I mean, also doing, doing games and data structures for uh, competitions. Um, I had to say that these algorithms and data structure are super hard to learn and very difficult. And I really struggled in these years. I deeply realized that um, understanding an algorithm doesn't mean I can implement it and use it because there are so many details to consider and there are so many you know, hard things to do actually making it into programs. And I can remember it was uh, in around 20, 2017 when I heard some students um, with like way weaker coding skills uh, than I had was doing artificial intelligence, which was kind of, I mean, the AI was kind of mysterious and magical to me that time because I only know um, like the classical algorithms. And I think uh, it's very, it would be very hard to learn. And I think my teacher agreed so much that time, um, my teacher at that time, he was actually um, laughing at these students who were doing AI because um, he kind of hold a belief that nobody is able to really understand AI like that advanced things if they don't have concrete programming skills because these algorithms contain so many details to consider and it's so hard to implement in code. They are kind of the most advanced things in software. Um, so I was having kind of a strong fear to learn about AI uh, until I joined a summer program, learning AI and coding Python um, in 2018, like uh, two years ago. It was the first time I used Python to program. I have never done anything with Python before uh, 2018. Um, and it was the first time for me to really learn about uh, the magical and mysterious AI. I was even prepared to get tortured debugging all these algorithms um, with AI. Well, and I found I was completely wrong. Since the bloom of AI in the past few years was quite recent, the open source culture had been developed by and popular, like it was super popular at that time. So AI was kind of born with the open source spirit. There are so many amazingly powerful frameworks available, developed and maintained by very large companies. There are PyTorch by Facebook and TensorFlow by Google. There are so many options. And what that means is that I don't even need to implement the algorithm itself. I can use it directly to solve my problem, as long as I understand how to use it. The implementation was already done by these genius engineers in large companies and improved um, by the whole open source community. Like basically anybody who is able to contribute can contribute to the program. I mean the project. Uh, I think there was like um, thousands of millions of people who are doing that. So it's literally standing on the shoulders of giants. Um, and once I understand how the algorithm work, I can use it directly to achieve my purpose for absolutely free. And what's even better is that if I want, I can learn about the, the pro program by reading its source code, learning all these uh, wonderful techniques of programming and improve my skills. Uh, 
And I don't even know that before the summer in 2018. So honestly, um, that just gave me another um, mindset of thinking things. It's like, you don't have to like do everything by yourself. Using others' work and also like contributing to them it sounds like a more healthier way to do things. And actually, I think it is that which um, like allows AI to develop so fast um, in recent years because so many people are contributing to this and adding their um, thoughts and improvements to it. So that's my 